anything. I don't know more has been here. And so you'll see people that try to poke holes, even our own people. Even our own people will try to poke holes in this and say, isn't this just about Canada? Well, this particular incarnation of this resistance started in Canada. It started with a bill called C-45. Are you guys familiar with that? C-45 removed protections from our sacred waterways. But when they ask that question, is it just about Canada? No, you stupid, dumb, no, it has nothing to do with that. As long as the raping and pillaging of all native lands on either side of the border continues, this is about us as well. Do you guys follow that? So it is about Canada, but it's also about us. It's about Lummi, where they're trying to bring that coal in, pollute those waterways. It's about Peabody mining down in Arizona. It's about any time one of these multinational corporations come in and try to kill our land and kill our children because our children drink from those waters. That's what it's about. These corporations, they don't care about borders. And neither should we. We should certainly... Yeah, go ahead. We should by all means, if it was just about Canada, we should still jump to the defense of our Canadian brothers and sisters. But it's not. It's also about us. And that's one way they'll try to poke holes in this and say, isn't it just about Canada? And then they'll say, well, isn't this just a new movement? Isn't this just Occupy Wall Street? In fact, the brother asked me earlier, he was interviewing me, asking me, is, is this just about the Occupy movement? No, you stupid, not you, whoever asked me that question, but anybody that else that asked that question, no, this has nothing to do with Occupy. Let me explain why. There are some similarities. You dumb dummies that asked that question. But this is not Occupy. What killed Occupy movement? No, the winter time, the winter time. It was about a bunch of people that were used to being in warm places. They got laid off from their jobs. They came down to, to Westlake and they couldn't take the cold. I see brothers out here with t-shirts on. You're not gonna scare Indians off with the cold. We're not going any place. I see brothers and sisters in, in Toronto, in, in, in Manitoba, in Alberta, out in negative 45 degree weather holding signs, you're not going to scare us off with the cold. That's not going to happen. We're not going any place. And let me say what that means. How many people do you guys think are here? 500 maybe? Good crowd, thank you all for coming. If there's 500 people here when it's 30 degrees in January, imagine what this is gonna look like in June. Imagine what it's gonna look like in July. Imagine what it's gonna look like when the weather gets nice. And all those fair weather protesters, God bless you, we need you too. But imagine when they come out here, this place is going to be packed. So Prime Minister Harper, City of Seattle, whomever it is, it doesn't matter who it is. We're not going any place. This has been here for 500 years. It will be here for 500 more. And on that note, my brother Coyote, we've known each other since we were kids. It's really cool to see him taking this leadership role. I remember literally the day where his son, Baron, was born. And as Roger stated, now Baron is here, leading the songs. This is simply about a continuation. This is about making sure that we teach this resistance that was taught to us, to the younger generations. He's down here leading songs. He's involved in the resistance. My son is back here in the resistance. They're not going away. This will stay in their mind. This will stay in their soul and psyche. They're not going any place. Let me give you another reason why this is not like the Occupy movement. It's because we're attaching this, and this is something Coyote asked me to speak about. We're attaching this 
unlike the Occupy movement, to specific attacks. And I want you guys to pay real close attention to this. We're attacking it, we're attaching it to specific attacks on our people. So for example, the reason why it's not just about Canada is because there's this coal operation that's trying to get going in Bellingham, attacking our Lummi people, attacking all of us. We need to mobilize and attack that specific thing on this side of the border. And what that means is voting. That's not protesting stuff, that's voting stuff. Voting, going out and getting people involved in that particular movement. How are we best going to defeat that? Go talking to the folks in Skagit County and say, no, this cannot happen on our sacred soils. Number two, a way that this violation, this attack on Native people is happening on this side of the border. And the reason why it's just not about Canada is because we had a bill last year that said, and we actually had to say this, it's a shame that we have to say this. This bill said it is not okay to rape Native women. It's called the Violence Against Women Act. It said it is not okay to rape Native women. We actually have to say that in 2013. But that bill did not pass because Republicans said, no, it is okay to rape Native women. And so we're organizing phone calls to all these douchebag senators and representatives that said it's okay to rape Native women to flood their phone lines to say, no, we're not going to stand for this. We're not going to be idle anymore about this, the rape and the assaulting of our Native women. You can make noise about that, that's fine. So that's another reason it's not like the Occupy movement. God bless the Occupy movement, it's a powerful but we're attaching it to specific things that are going to protect Native people and make sure that we are here for another thousand years. Another way that they're going to poke holes, they're gonna poke holes, is by saying, well, it's just a bunch of Indians getting together to make noise. There's nothing wrong with it, that's a good thing. I love it when Indians get together to make noise. Where I'm from, they call it 49s. That's a wonderful thing. But that's not what it is. When I look out at the crowd, I see native, I see white, I see black, I see Asian. This has nothing to do with native. This, that's right. This has everything to do with the protection of the earth. If you're any color, you could be green, and you want to protect the earth, make sure that Indian women aren't getting raped, and you're willing to take action on that, that doesn't sound like bad stuff to me. If you want to take action on that, we don't care what color you are. Please come in, you're idle no more, and we welcome you to our circle. With that, I want to say thank you very much for coming out. This is not going any place. We need to continue to put pressure. Pressure about the Violence Against Women Act. Pressure about the coal port in Bellingham. Pressure about our brothers and sisters in Canada. We can never lose focus of them. They're a very important part of this. The Chief Spence, who is starving herself as a symbol, she's willing to sacrifice herself for the benefit of all of us. We can't forget about her. Our prayers have to be with her. But no, this takes place across the border here as well, and we need to be mindful of that. We're fighting for something very specific, and I thank all of you for coming out. I hope. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jossie. Always enjoy your words. I always feel that realness, that honesty, we need to hear that stuff. So I thank you once again, brother. At this time, we'd like to call up the Fort Gamble Skalalem Canoe family. We ask them to come over here and share some songs, share some words, share that healing medicine that flows in these songs that we sing, the gifts that we, that are granted to us from our ancestors. Fort Gamble Skalalem Canoe family, please come forward. 
Share your spirit with us. Joe Price. Good morning. My name is Joe Price, and we're from the uh, Port Gamble Squallum Canoe Family, Port Gamble Tribe. And I want to say it is a beautiful day today to be here today to join this prayer circle, to be asked. Um, it's, re it's really good to see everyone here. And James personally invited me to come out here, and it's, it's really good to see him and his, his canoe family be out here and leading this. And it's such a great honor. So right now we're gonna we're gonna do a, a song, and um, song is a, is a happy song. It was returned to the Sklaams by the Skokomish and it seemed uh, right for the opportunity to sing that today. Thank you. Thank you Joe. Thank you for bringing your beautiful family. You guys' beautiful spirit for the people. So moving along with our agenda, we've asked for Deborah Parker to come speak about the Violence Against Women Act. And um, she's here, she's right here, so um, we thank you at this time for coming. Thank you. Thank you and 
thanking the Creator for this beautiful day we have here in Washington so that we could stand together united. I'd like to introduce myself in our traditional way. My name comes seven generations back from the, the Stahovsh people in Tulalip, Washington. My grandmother was a medicine woman. Our people shared good life with each other. We protected each other. We walked together. Our highways were, you look over here,